everyone. Hi. And welcome back to our channel. And today's video is all about some new niche brand launches. So um, launches from brands that are not in major distribution mm -hmm. or limited. Mm -hmm. um, they're all out on counter now. And they're all shared or unisex fragrances. Yeah. And we have four to show you today. Yeah. So um, the first one we're going to show you is probably the most well-known um, brand because it's from Van Cleef and Arpels, yeah. who are obviously a big French jewellers. Beautiful jewellers. Yeah, and they've had beautiful fragrances, actually, since mm. the 70s. Yeah. Um, if you remember first, um, that was their first fragrance. Um, but also they have this collection called Collection Extraordinaire, which yeah, is lovely. A, yeah, a bit higher price mm. point, not as widely available. Mm. So and about 175 pounds. Yes, yeah, really yeah. nice fragrances. And so what they've done with this new fragrance, which we're gonna show you, is they've almost put in another tea up right. vibe from Collection nice. Extraordinaire. So it's still part of the Collection Extraordinaire, but it's even more expensive <laughs> and even higher level. <laughs> more luxurious. So let me show you this. So this is balanced behind me here. Um, we have, you'll see that the box is just saying Collection Extraordinaire mm -hmm. like it is in the other um, fragrances, but it's a completely different box. This is like a piece of jewelry, it's isn't stunning, it? Yeah. It's like you're opening up you know, I've taken the bottle out there, but it's all velvet inside. Um, I mean, it, this is, I think, probably the highest quality perfume box I've ever seen. It looks seen. like it's, a jewellery box. It is unbelievable, mm. and you would definitely keep this. You know, mm. sometimes you wouldn't really keep the card, no. you know, boxes that things come in. I really in, like black lacquering yes, as well. Yes, it's lovely. It does get shiny. Yeah, so. yeah, <laughs> um, and yeah. And then, yeah, you'd never throw that away. No, oh my gosh. And then the bottle is also beautiful. Now, you'll see that it has the same um, shape and basic style of Collection Extraordinaire, but what they've done is put it in the black, mm. um, and in this matte black with these kind of brush strokes across it. So you've got a texture of the matte and the kind of gloss across the bottle. And then it's got this lovely kind of gold and black mm. plaque on the front. It's really smart. Actually. Really, really nice. Mm. Um, Does so it have the VCA yeah, on the bottom the VCA, as well? Yeah, um, the VCA on the mm. bottom as well. Yeah, imprinted in there. It's really, yeah, it's very smart. Um, the fragrance is called Rev de Cashmere, mm. which means uh, like a cashmere dream. Okay. Dream of cashmere. Dreaming of cashmere. Um, I sometimes do dream of cashmere. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I'm walking past. When you wish you had loads of money. <laughs> um, let's try it and okay. tell you um, how it smells. So, yeah. Have you smelt this one before? I today? have, but only kind of briefly. Okay. I've not really worn it for a long period of time. Mm. So it is, it's not something I know well. No, I don't know this one. Thank you. I'll be honest with you, mm. I found it quite confusing as to what the brands say about this okay. versus actually how it smells. What do they say about they it? They say that it's reminiscent of a soft cashmere fur stole. Okay. But for me... So straight away that would say to me powdery. Soft and powdery yeah. and feminine kind of yeah. smell. But for me this is it's not that. quite um, dark mm. and... Hard. Mm. It's leather. It's leather. Yeah. No, surely. Yeah. It's very smoky. Yeah. Isn't okay. it? Yeah. Very smoky, which fits well mm. with the black of the bottle and everything else about it. But yeah. it Can doesn't. It? it doesn't go so well with the idea of a cashmere dream. I feel like it's more of a leather dream, no, isn't it? No, well, and also, it depends what kind of dream, because if you think of a dream, like, I mean, the brand of Van Cleef and Arpels, they're very inspired by kind of enchantment and mm. fairies in their mm. jewellery design. Mm. So when I think of dream in terms of the brand, I often think of like a sort of light sort of... Um, Fairy dust. Yes. But it's not, it doesn't smell like that. No, no, no. It's more like a dark yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah. It's not a nightmare. No, <laughs> no. It is, it, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I'm saying it's a bit it, confusing, mm. but it's a really nice fragrance. It um, has, um, there's leather and patchouli, right? It definitely has patchouli. Mm. If you liked the uh, moonlight patchouli that's mm. already in the collection extraordinaire, then I think you would like yeah, this. Yeah, I agree with that. It's not, um, although it's, it's, it's a step it's, up from that. Yeah, it's richer than yeah. that. Definitely. Um, and there's a, is it vanilla? Yes, sweet, van, sweet kind of, vanilla. like a burnt vanilla. It has a slightly medicinal smell to mm, it as well mm, to me. Mm. And the perfumer for this, by the way, is Fabrice Pellegrin, oh, yeah. um, who's worked on you know quite quite a, of, yeah. quite a few well-known mm. um, fragrances. So it's quite a kind of high pedigree um, perfumer. Mm. And it smells so different on the car. It's softer on yeah. the skin. 
Do you know, I always find that little tip if you're shopping for perfumes, mm. you know, try if you can to get the consultant to give you the bottle to spray on your skin because it just is so different. It can be very different, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a kind of woody, oriental, mm. leathery fragrance, yeah. deep, and I guess it is like a stolen that you feel like it's kind of mm. enveloping you mm. Um, mm. in its smell very warm but yeah don't, don't get the illusion that it's all kind of dreamy and soft mm. cashmere powdery no, no. it's not um so yeah so that's revved to cashmere nice check it out if you can i think it's only in harrods Is in it? the uk initially um, but I'm sure, well, as with always, what we try to do is link up below um, places where you can find it. Um, if, it's, if it is on their website. Sometimes they're a bit <laughs> slack and they don't put stuff online quick enough. But we are always searching for links, so we will update them when we can. Yeah. So that's Rev to Kashmir. Super. Um, okay, so I'm going to take you on another little dreamy journey now. Okay. So I'm going to talk about um, something that I really like. Okay. This is a new fragrance by the brand of Terry, by Terry, um, who is the lady who does all the makeup. That yeah. You can find, uh, well, in England, you can find it in Space NK, yeah. amongst other places. And she has got a fragrance out now called Delectation Splendide. Mm. So like a, a splendid delicacy of a fragrance. And the reason I say that I'm going to take you on a dream is because her whole kind of concept behind this, um, and I love this kind of deep mm. purple mm. as well, which also sort of says something about enchantment, I think. Um, the story is that you kind of close your eyes, go into another world, a beautiful like fairy palace, mm. and you meet characters there like Marie Antoinette yeah. um, and rock stars. And you go around and there's like all these lovely, delicious delicacies to eat, mm. like big piles of macaroons. Yeah, she loves that macaroon. Yummy and stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's all very opulent and sumptuous mm. in its surroundings. So have you got that picture in your mind? Yeah. Have you got that picture in your mind? <laughs> I feel like I'm on some kind of storytelling uh, website. Here you go. And yeah. this is the result of that little dream. Mm. And it's Ooh, yes. spicy and sweet. Spicy and, and sweet. Yes. 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 And yummy, but not in a patisserie candy no. way. More in like a kind of gorging Rich. on crystallised ginger chocolate yes. way. Yes. Yes. It's Lovely. like a very expensive sweet shop mm. or kind of, you know it's i mean you've got a real host of things like tonka bean mm. um rose ginger. i was gonna say she love it she loves rose doesn't she she, does. so she kind of gets rose into she everything rose. really who doesn't love rose yeah i, mean, I adore rose but the way that the rose is treated in here mm. is it's not like a, a garden fresh freshly no. picked rose sometimes roses can be quite green and sort of champagne in their smell mm. This one's not it's like that. Deep. It mm. is deep and it's um, coupled with that kind of resinous note, yeah, yeah that almost caramelised note yeah. that you have in here. It's very, very delicious yeah. and delectable. Yeah. I love the ginger because mm. the ginger's like a kick, mm. isn't it? In mm. it, it makes it kind of mm. not sickly sweet. Yeah. It makes gives it that heat. Um, to Do it. you remember? There was a Boucheron fragrance once called Jai Pour Pour Homme. Yes. Do you remember yes. that? Yes. It on the skin That's it reminds true. me of that. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yes, got a, a kind of oriental yeah. feel, yeah. like yeah. an exotic kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's like that sort of gourmand, mm. chipre, oriental. It's quite yeah. a, it's quite a sort of mossy base fragrance. Yeah. Um, with a lot of sophistication, but. There is definitely a naughty side. Yeah. So yeah, when you see the name, you think it might be kind of sugary and mm. sweet, but it, it's really mm. deeper than that. Mm. Nice. Do like yeah. That. Nice. Okay. What have you got next? Next, I've got something from our friend, Mr. Serge Lutans, um, and this is from the Section Door, so the gold collection. Mm. Um, there's about is it half a dozen fragrances oh, in this collection yeah. already? Yeah, and um, these are pricey. These they are, are over five hundred. They are very yeah. pricey, and they are a fifty ml bottle. But they are a pure parfum concentration, mm -hmm. apparently. Although, as we have talked about before, there is no legislation on you the categorisation yeah. of eau de parfum parfum. So Make your mind they're up. calling it a parfum. Mm -hmm. You try what, and see. What were, were the others? Eau de parfum. Eau de parfum. I think mm. this is eau de parfum. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So this fragrance is called Beurre de Fleur, which means executioner of flowers. Mm. 
So, as always with dark, Mr. Lutard, dark. dark. Now, um, I would suggest that if you're interested, you maybe go online and look at the press release for this. Mm. Because, yeah, it go is, on his website, yeah, his search website. It's, mm. um, we'll leave a link below actually. It's dark. It's like a dark story about a woman being execu executed and but the relationship yes. between the executioner yeah. and the and the woman. Um, honestly, I don't completely understand it. No, I mean, I think I feel like he's trying to say that they're he's trying to set a picture, you're, and you're linked. You're you're linked to your executioner. Yes, by, you know he's taking your life. You're giving it kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, but also, what's interesting to me about this, because I, I was wearing this the mm. other day, is although it says it's execution of flowers and it mentions flowers, no. there are no flowers no. in here. So, I so it's almost like we've killed off the flowers, there are no flowers in here at all. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't smell floral at all. Um, so okay, here we go. Okay. Now, this is described um, as having a lot of caramel, which actually I can smell. Can you? I've, I, in the past, I... But smelling it again, I can smell a sweetness, a kind of burnt sweetness. Okay, oh, because he likes that whole idea of the burnt woods, yes, burnt, burnt resins, and, and yeah. See, I, all I can smell, to be honest with you, and, and when I had it on my skin the other day, I had yeah. it on all day, and to be honest, it lasts all yes. day. I was washing my hands, it still could smell it. Yeah. Um, I could smell spice, like it's very, very cumin -y type spice. Yeah, um, cumin -y, cardamom. Mm. Um, it's really like a even, even close. warm, spicy, yeah. slightly sweet medley. Like it really has a kind of it's making cooking, me hungry. cooking feel. It's to making it. me hungry. Yeah, I want to eat something <laughs> like a dinner. In fact, this could be my dinner, <laughs> and this could be my dessert. Yeah. You'd be very skinny yeah. <laughs> and dead. Do you well, know? I, yeah. Uh, well, he's got the executioner <laughs> yeah. of flowers, so maybe that's me. I actually, coming back to it again, it's a very interesting scent. It's very, I mean, as always with Serge Luton, mm. very clever, and mm. um, not like anything else mm. you've ever tried. But it is resinous. It's resinous, mm. but it's definitely spicy. It's definitely got a slight sweetness to it. Mm. Um, Do you know the interesting thing about? I mean. Why would you buy something like this? I think you're looking for something that is completely different. Unique. And yeah. um, it's interesting when you start to look at modern day perfumery and people pushing the boundaries of perfumery. Mm. We were talking about this just mm. yesterday. Um, because people are looking for something, or a lot of people, not everyone, are looking for something that is just more poetic, is sort of trying to make a say something. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily something that just smells of yeah. rose and jasmine. Yeah. You know, so I think Serge does that very well. He kind of makes a poem out of a fragrance. Yeah. He does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, very interesting. interesting. Um, and then the last one is a theme on oud. So we've talked about mm. oud before. Um, and this is by the brand called Dear Rose, which yeah. is a, a brand we work with a lot, mm. um, and um, especially in the niche sector. Um, and this is quite interesting. It's this copper coloured bottle yes. with an almost also 60s type vibe. It is. And if you think of the name oud vibration, you know, good vibrations, Beach Boys. Mm. Oud, oud, oud vibrations. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's what we're meant to think of, but you do think of that, and it looks like that as well. This is sorry, I haven't got. A, that's okay. okay. Um, Spray on this. Okay. This is a really nice oud, a really wearable oud, and it doesn't. It's not dissimilar to me to some of the ones like the by Terry oud. That's true. Um, which is called terrific oud. Yeah. And oud vibration gives that similar kind of berry note. It's the berries, the yeah, berries and also rose. Because mm. that's I like that. Yeah, oh. for me, those are the things that mm. I like in an oud. I mm. like them. I like it to be balanced with the floral and mm. the fruity. Mm. I think what's nice about it as well, and maybe it's the play on the name, the vibrations of yeah. oud, is that you've got oud, which you, I mean we've talked about oud before. In, in, in fact, we'll link our oud video below yes. so you can refer back if you so we don't have to go into what oud is. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. I know, I know. So the vibrations bit of it yes, is it's like a it's pulse. A, a nod to oud, mm. but it's not that dirty, sticky, pungent oud no. that you get in some 
concoctions. Mm. It's quite a kind of mm. Uh, mm. heady lightness. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, really commercial, actually. Yes. Really wear a yes. nude. Yes. If but you if you haven't tried oud before and you want to wear an oud, this is a good, a one, good to one to start, start with. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's our little roundup of um, four new fragrances. That if you're a man or a woman, no problem to wear any of them. Um, they are not available everywhere, as we said. We'll try and leave links um, yeah. where we can. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And um, we'll see you all again next time. <laughs> bye bye. bye.